Good morning, everybody. It's a morning off the day we fly out. It is four o'clock in the morning, just after. So a nice early flight, as you can see. It is nice and dark out here in Bonnie, Scotland. Amazing wife, Kushalia, feeding the dogs. Treats. And then we're going to pick up Tom and Sinead, which we didn't know are only five minutes away from us. So a quick shake before I go. So thank you, my protein. We're good to get out and see all the guys. Getting our competition done. Been a busy couple of days in the office with the guys. Some really exciting things coming up. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to finish off parking. Gushali is almost there. She's got her My Vegan Pro. Let's, let's actually have a look and see what's in Kushi's case. So what she's got here. Uh, clear soy protein. Just bits of chocolate and stuff. It's all bits and pieces of that. So. Kush, um, yeah, and Sinead as well. They're, they're both doing really well in training. You know, keep it up when we're traveling and stuff, which is great to see. Anything that you can take along the way to curb those cravings. For sweet stuff, I think is good, so fair play to you guys. We will see you when we get to the airport for the first leg of the Mammoth Session out to Shaw Classic. So we are in Heathrow. I say we very loosely as catastrophe has happened. Um, it is just myself. And Kushi. Unfortunately there was an issue with the ticket. So I actually booked the ticket, so blame me. But the, her first and surname have been switched around. So it said Stoltman Sinead as opposed to Sinead Stoltman. So uh, we couldn't use that. Tickets were so expensive as well. It was like over two grand for a ticket, which is ridiculous. So that's basically been lost. So I'm not sure if Tom can get out to the Shaw Classic, which is, yeah, extremely sad. And they just bought Brian a wee bottle of Dalmore whiskey. Well, I thank you and an apology for the hassle. So we're just chilling now, we've got these wee beds. excited about looking at planes but I'm just gonna chill watch some TV we fly in two hours I think it is because she has got some snacks cheese uh, olives wine so it's actually quite nice we got a free upgrade to premium today from British Airways so thank you British Airways that was quite nice chilly I think it's really hot in Colorado so I'll be extremely sweaty the only problem if Tom doesn't come he's got the tacky and the deadlift straps so I might be doing the stones with no tacky and the dead with no straps, so that'd be awesome. Anyway, we will chat to you guys on the plane. Best ever. I've got a little snacks here. So it's actually quite good. This is a fine and premium, uh, which is quite decent. Leg space isn't bad. Just deciding what movie to watch. Got our snacks. We are ready to go. Nine hours. Still feel pretty gassed for Big Tommy. And Sinead, hope they're okay. I speak to them all day, but uh, he's been busy in the gym. A lot of stuff to do there, so hopefully you're okay, big guy, and we will see you guys soon. So we'll see you when we land in America. We made it to Colorado to the Shaw Classic. So we just checked into the hotel. Nice views of the, I guess that's the Rocky Mountains there. That's stunning actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Swimming pool and spa as well. So yeah, really nice hotel. And um, Brian above and beyond as always. Look what he's left. A couple of little snacks for us. <laughs> um, so it's just an itinerary, Wednesday, Thursday. Actually well organized. Uh, T-shirt, Shaw Strength, 3XL. Hopefully I'll still fit into that. Look, welcome to Col Colorado. Please wear a shirt for interviews Friday AM and athlete panel Friday PM. Let's make this weekend great, Kerry. Uh, a huge shout out to Kerry. Uh, obviously, you all probably know Kerry anyway. Brian's wife, Kerry, as we would say, an absolute gem. And she looks after us. She's been, we have a chat group on WhatsApp, so she's kind of organising everything for us. Yeah, we're going to chill out get some food um, and enjoy our stay in Colorado, the Mile High City. What do you think, Gucci? Mile High what? It's called the Mile High City. Is it really? Because it's so high. I'm an encyclopedia when it comes to things like this. Anyway, we will catch you guys in a little bit. 
we have just had a sleep. It is now it's not even 5 a.m. in the morning, yeah, with the jet lag and stuff. Um, just woke up a bit early. As we've said, it's just Kush and myself here. Unfortunately, Tom won't be competing at the Shaw Classic this year. A lot of us, or me included, you know, forget that Tom's still autistic and um, sometimes things that are exceptional, not exceptionally, but just normal or easy for us are extremely challenging for Tom to do. Um, so yesterday when we got to the airport, I think we said, you know, that um, unfortunately she needs ticket, um, the name of the ticket had been messed up, um, which then resulted in Cushy and myself getting the flights out here. And then when we left in Inverness, um, we said to Tom, or we kind of thought that maybe Tom would get the flights out the following day. So, um, you know, huge shout out to Brian as well. Brian, I think Brian knows, <coughs> or is very... Um, patient with how Tom is. Brian was here trying to help Tom and stuff and I think it just got a bit overwhelming for Tom. Tom felt really overwhelmed and um, then that kind of proceeded to go into more of like a, I wouldn't say an attack or whatever, but it's just how Tom's head works. Sometimes it just doesn't allow him to maybe have the capabilities that we have to, to kind of go and do these things ourselves. So yeah, I feel really really gutted for Tom that he's not out here. You know, for Tom it's probably the right decision, he just would have probably got a little bit depressed and a little bit um, kind of in that recluse mode that Tom um, has gone in, in in the past. So, you know, I think all the guys will understand that, you know, you know, with Tom's autism it's not a, it's not a, a disability that we can all see, it's a hidden disability. Just feel gutted as, a, as an older brother, obviously. Um, my job is to make sure Tom's okay and maybe I didn't fulfil that as best I should have done yesterday. Um, so my apologies uh, for any stress that that caused on you, Big Tommy. Hopefully you'll be watching it live. Um, it's going to be really, really good. Just wanted to have a quick chat really just about the Shaw Classic like this. Like the one day shows that Giants Live do, honestly, are just absolutely spectacular, incredible Giants. Darren and Colin have got those shows just so, like, nailed, nailed down with Shaw's. Um, it's over a couple of days, he's invited, see, like, the amateur guys, there's women coming out here. Just so, so cool. So, like, you know, he's got the full itinerary breakdown here. Friday we have, <clears throat> so between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., there's treatment set up at the Budweiser Event Centre, which is where we're going to be competing. Massage, chiropractic work, IVs, cold tabs, um, etc., etc. So, yeah, just to name all the guys that are here, we've got Terry Hollins, Bobby Thompson, Jerry Pritchard, also Brian Shaw, Kevin Fears, Gabe Pena, Evan Singleton, Maxime Boudreau, Gabriel Room, uh, you know, Pardon my uh, pronunciation of that, Gabriel. Um, Mitch Hooper, Alexei Novikov, um, Tom was supposed to be here, myself, Konstantin Janasia, the GOAT himself, Zadrina Zaviskas, Avar Schmuckstelis, Trey Mitchell, Mark Philippi, absolutely insane athletes. Jeez, oh, just reading them just makes you think, wow, just so excited. I love what Brian's trying to do, or that, that he's doing, and it's so inspiring to see. So, 3:30 p.m. we have the pro athlete rules meeting, uh, equipment testing, yoke heights, the leg press, foot placement. So that'll be interesting. Then we have a pro athletes dinner in the Bull Den, seven till eight. So that'll be nice. Maybe have a few beers with Mitchell Hooper. Um, me and Mitchell chuck some beers together, you buddy. Then on Saturday, that's when all the fans start. Open athletes will be competing at the Budweiser Events Centre from 8 till 10 a.m. So Andy Black's going to be there. He's going to come over to compete against all the guys here. So that'll be cool to see him. 11.30 is when we go down to the venue. 12 p.m. Uh, is when the doors are open to the public. And then 1 p.m. introductions, 1.30 is the max deadlift, which I think will be a very quick event for me. <laughs> and then the, the Women's Open, uh, they do something at 3 p.m., the bag toss, and then we go on and do our bag toss and the yoke. And then 5 p.m. is the circus dumbbell, so we have max deadlift, we have bag toss, we have yoke, and circus dumbbell. 
should be an easy day in the office. Uh, and then let's see what it says on Sunday. Sunday, so start for us. Again, the open athletes, the guys, they'll be doing 8 till 10. Then we start at 12 again. So 1.30 we do log press. Then we're on to frame arm over arm. Frame into arm over arm, sorry. Then the leg press. And then the stones to finish off with. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm really excited for that. Um, after the show, chill, whatever. Then, uh, so the show's finished by quarter past six, half six. And then we've got meet and greet for all the guys that have come to watch. So 7 till 9pm, we'll be there to meet and greet everyone. And then Monday we're going to do some stuff with Brian up in his cabin on the ATVs. Um, so that'll be really exciting. And then Tuesday we go home. So, yeah, I went on a wee bit there, but that's the full breakdown. I'm just having a little... Imagine eating like mince and sweet potato at 4.30, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, really excited to get going. So, so, just as a wee thank you to Brian, we got a little bottle of Dalmore for him. It's actually really nice when I've had this a few times. Um, Portwood Reserve matured in American white oak. So, a single malt for Brian. Um, I think when, I know when we travel or we go places, i just like to have something just as a wee thank you for having us. So, we do appreciate you, Brian. So thank you for having us over here, as always. Uh, apologies um, that Tom couldn't make it this time. Um, but it's one of those things. I think Tom has to look after his um, his health uh, mentally a little bit, you know, a little bit more uh, than coming out here. So with that being said, I'm going to go and eat my food. We'll maybe film a bit of shopping, see what I can what we can buy out here in Loveland, Colorado. It's quite nice actually. How much is your top? We are in Dick's Sporting. The name, I just found it so funny. You having the time of your life? Cute. Look at that, look at that. I think the white one looks nice. Mr. Stockman's favourite aisle. I've left my sunglasses at home. So I'm going to try and... Oh, baby. I think we've got a winner straight away. Hmm. Oh. What do you think? They look really interesting. The, the fit okay in my head? Yeah, looks like a perfect fit. Really fit, does it? I think it does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad. No, that's the pink ones. Okay. Pink ones it is. There we went out shopping. Kush got some stuff. I didn't. No, I did actually. I got these glasses in. I showed you a yeah, cheeky little find. So now we are waiting on Mr. Uh, Gabriel Pena and his wife Bianca. We're going to go out for a little hike in the Rocky Mountains. So this is how I am now. I wonder what I'll be like when I come back. I'm expecting me to be extremely sweaty. Quite smelly. I've got my rain sweatband on. So. I think that'll be needed. I'm gonna go for a couple of beers with Mitchell Hooper tonight as well when he gets in, so it'll be nice. Mitchell's a stand-up guy, good guy. All the guys are good here. And just a quick thank you to all the support that you're showing my baby brother, Tom. Means a lot. I won't say any more because I'll start crying because I always cry when I talk about Tom. Um, but it means an awful lot, so thank you. So we will see you when we're on our hike in the Rocky Mountains. A bit colder up here, so I've got a cardigan. Luke's still in his shirts. Are you excited for a hike? Yeah. <laughs> well, we pass out five minutes in, but I'm ready. Okay, guys, so we are up somewhere about 20 million miles high. As you can see, we are right in the heart of the national park. Looks absolutely amazing. Um, big shout out to Gabe for driving all the way up here. Thank you, Gabe. Something that I don't normally do before a competition. I uh, usually kind of stick to the, I don't know what you call it, the confines of the hotel. Nice to get out and kind of explore a place. So um, You can feel the air up here is a little, little thicker or 
a little lighter, whatever the right word is, but you just smell the pine of the, the forest, so it looks really nice. Really excited. I got my sweatband, got my rain sweatband. So we're ready to go. Chat to you in a little bit. You can't kick it last. <laughs> Three hours later. Where's the city? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Oh, is it going to hold the weight? Oh my gosh, no, Luke. Oh, Luke, maybe come back. Oh, wow. Wow, those logs are being pushed to them. Uh, <laughs> we got this, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a nipple. It's like a mountain goat. Oh, wow. And we all doubted you. <laughs> I, I, I didn't doubt him, I doubted them. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> we did it! Too much oh. for my comfort. <laughs> That's nuts. We're probably about 20 miles up, coping pretty well. I've uh, only shot myself three times. We're doing well. Not so even we're, sweating. We're surviving on uh, berries and uh, worms. So far, Gabe's at the majority of the the, ca the catch. He's got some precious cargo on his back, but yeah, we're. We're getting it done. I mean, nums, if you're watching this, probably aren't. We know how you feel now. At that top of Everest, we've, we're ready for it. Is that the same way you feel? Oh, it's slim pickings out here. <laughs> She's eating all the worms that we're getting, only leaving us a couple berries. But where there's a will, there's a way. And we've got the will. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> So incredible. You okay? Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, geez, I, I got down here so fast that to go for a nap waiting for the guys. What a sprint. Yeah, what a well, big man, you really, really had to tail it down. Oh, uh, uh, that was good. I feel the lungs. Like, like I've got no lungs, that's what it feels like. You've really expanded. Expanded. Oh, I think I think we're ready for the short classic Gabe. A nice little shock to the system. Yes. The thin air up here makes the air down there that much easier to deal with. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. science. Strategy. Mm -hmm. Strategy. You got this. Strategy. Mm -hmm. I like it. Next year, Tom, when you come, mm -hmm. I'm taking you up here. We're going to the top, just like Gabe and I just did. Yeah, so it was good. It was nice. Calves are burning, ankles are wrecked, thighs are jacked, patellas are done. But apart from that, I'm feeling amazing. Good to go. How are you feeling? Solid active recovery. Supercharged by the environment around me. I got breathing heavy just like Luke did, but getting up here, shocking the system, it's all about making sure that we breathe better down there. And Half nine, ten o'clock at night. Uh, we just back in, had a couple of beers with Mitchell, Mitchell Hooper. So Big Brian Shaw's. Uh, videographer James uh, and his massive truck. He's got a huge, huge truck. I'll get some videos off it. Um, he said we can drive it, so I want to compare it to our tiny trucks that we have in the UK. It's a really good day, really nice day with Kush. We went for a nice hike, as you would have seen, um, with Gabe and Bianca and their little one, which was really nice. Get out in the, the, the nature and kind of experience that. I feel so, so refreshed. I don't know, my knees feel really good. Normally when I'm walking, my knees feel a bit weird, but no, it's all good. So tomorrow we have some media stuff to do, so I'll try and record as much as I can. But a huge shout out to everyone for all the nice comments. It's nice that, um, you know, through Tom, um, the amount of uh, awareness and 
um, for people on the spectrum he's, he's showing. I think it's such a great thing. I don't know if people realise as well, but for someone in Tom's position who's effectively the strongest man in the world for the last two years, to come out and talk about his weakness or a form of weakness which he sees it as sometimes, like a crippling disability that he's got, I think it's one of the bravest things you can do. I think it's so inspiring to see that Tom can speak op openly about it. And I, I didn't know, I genuinely didn't know he was going to do that video. I was just so, so proud of him and for him to speak the way he spoke and say the things he did and explain it. And, the manner in which he explained it, I think it was absolutely amazing and yeah, one of the proudest I've been of, of Tom to see him kind of come out and do that and, and I think, and I hope you guys know how much you all mean to us because that's why, you know, we want to explain these things when they happen. It's not a, an easy thing to do but we do that because without you guys watching, without you guys supporting us, buying our merchandise, watching these videos, we wouldn't be able to do this, so from the bottom of my red and squishy heart, I thank you very, very much because um, I know Tom is feeling a lot better with all the nice words that you guys have said to him, so thank you. With that being said, uh, Cushy and I... Happiest girl ever! <laughs> Cushy's happy because we went for a hike, so I'll have to do more of that when we get home. Um, she's just looking at me like I'm a maniac. Is that a promise? I'm sure we'll try and do more of that stuff if time permits. Be nice. Okay, now on the happiest wife ever. Apologies, this video hasn't really there's not been much on it, but um, hope you've enjoyed it, and we will update you after um, all the media stuff tomorrow. Anyway, guys, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy, and please don't forget to ring that little bell. Chris, come ring up with me. Ding, 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 ding.